being circulated a lot online that I think is very important and is a piece of this picture that is missing, and I'm going to play it right now. I also would molest kids on my street. But, oh, I would molest kids on my street. <laughs> um, and that's another thing that they say that kids who are abused, sexually abused do. Like, I would, like, make kids on my street, like, take their pants off and I'd spank them or, like, do weird shit to them. And it didn't feel weird at the time, but looking back, I'm like, ew. <laughs> I was, yeah. like, I was well, a kid how, too. Were they your peers? Yeah, I was probably, you know, eight and they were seven or something. Right. And I apologized to them. I found them on Facebook. I'm like, you sorry did? for molesting you. Did they they're remember? Like, they're like, one of them did. One of them was like, yeah, that's why my family had made me stop hanging out with you. And I'm like, oops. So, what you heard there was Shane oh admitting God. to violating others Where? when he was also a kid. Call me. As a result of what happened to him. Not the same thing as doing so as an adult. However, there is something a bit disturbing to me in the way that it was brought up and and talked about, which was both nonchalant and in a humorous way. And while humor can be a coping mechanism, it's also very important to be aware that when you do that on a public stage, it is a bit irresponsible in my opinion. And what I think as a result of seeing all these clips, all these statements, all these tweets, all these jokes out of shame, What I think is that it paints a picture of someone who has not properly addressed the trauma they experienced. And that is something that I think, if the only takeaway from this video is that when you experience something like that, it is so vital to seek help. Because what we know statistically is, like I said, this type of thing can be a cycle. And while I think that there is a whole separate set of consequences and conversation to be had when it comes to whether or not Shane hurt someone as an adult or hurt someone as a child. I think those are two very different things. And as of now, there is absolutely no evidence that Shane has actually hurt someone as an adult other than feelings, whether it be Willow Smith and the Smith family, which I'm totally not invalidating. However, we do have this admission by Shane that he hurt others while he was a kid. This is why if your child goes through something like this, you have to seek therapy. You have to seek help. What I can only assume is that if Shane did seek the help from when he was hurt, it wasn't sufficient because I do think, and this is not excusing any of the behavior by Shane because I condemn it wholeheartedly. I think it's disgusting. A lot of the stuff he's put online in regards to kids and just jokes that, you know, again, humor is humor. Sometimes you do cross a line. And when you cross that line, just like dozens and dozens of times, it paints a picture. But I'm just trying to say that clearly these comments and these jokes stem from somewhere. And that is that trauma. And I think that paints a better understanding of what you're seeing coming out about Shane Dawson. You know, one of the things that definitely uh, made me realize this was an important video to do is when all these things started coming out about Shane, I had a very real conversation with my fiancé. And he asked me, Blair... Give me an honest answer. Do you think Shane Dawson is a pet? My reaction was, I don't think so. And the fact that I wasn't able to confidently state, hell no, of course not. Like, why are you even asking me that is a problem. Whether that's a problem of him really being capable of hurting someone, I'm not in a position to say that. And I would hope to God that is not the case. But it clearly is a problem enough to where this trauma keeps coming out. And he keeps putting it out into the world. And if he puts it out into the world as much as he does, it makes me question how much of that same energy he puts out in private, if that makes sense. And I'm really not trying to make any accusations because, like I said, and I will fully admit that I have a bias here as someone who has a history with him. I would... I want to, and I hope to God that is not the case, but I, I can't confidently say either way. So that has to be what I say about it. And, you know, I really don't want to like throw dirt on someone who's already down. I don't want to try to convince anyone to not support someone or or take part in cancel culture, but I also don't want to pass up this opportunity to have the very important conversation of how these things become cycles. And when you're victimized in this way as a child, it tends to, it's almost like contagious. Like it, it, these things 
sometimes are generational and happen in families over and over and over again. That's why it's so important to stop the cycle and seek the proper help when it happens to you or when it happens to someone in your family. This is also by no means trying to paint Shane as a victim, you know, for the actions and the choices he made as an adult because there's no excusing a lot of the stuff. There's just none. And and you guys can be the judge of that for yourself. Like, I'm not here to put every clip here in this video, okay? It's gone viral. It's everywhere. You can find whatever you want to find. And at the end of the day, Shane was a grown man when he did these things. So I'm not here to make excuses for anyone. You know, I don't really know if Shane can come back from this. I know Target pulled his books and Morphe pulled his makeup and, you know. Good. Ugh. I don't know about that aspect of it, but I do know that I hope that, you know, I have no control over the rest of the internet, but I hope within my own channel and within my own amazing community that I have here, which is you guys, that we can use this as a jump off to have that really important conversation about getting help and about, you know, stopping the cycle. I'm a little flustered, guys. I'm not going to lie. Like, I was itching. I'm not crying. I'm just... See how nervous I am? I'm like, damn, I don't want to be perceived in any kind of wrong way here, but I just... You did great. It's just such a dark moment. You did so great. Damn. I said, love you guys. See you in the next video. Blair, you did amazing. Like, I don't... I'm assuming that you're not... Like, I don't know what you survived. Like, but... Oh, that was wonderful. Like, thank you for saying that. Jesus. Guys, pedophilias are real. Like, pedophiles, they exist. Like, we need to wake up now. Like, all these Disney channels and Disney characters, like, go rewatch Peter Pan. Hook abducts children, and Robin Williams made it more palatable. Obviously, we don't have Robin Williams to explain that to us today, so we have to rationalize that as fans of his today. We get it. The rabbit hole has been exposed. Alice in Wonderland did not enjoy Wonderland. Like, James Carroll was a horrible man, and we all need to wake up, and I think we are, and it's hard, but we're, it's happening, and it's okay to say me too, because pedophiles are disgusting, and it's not your fault. It's a cycle, and we love you, and you deserve help. Like, you deserve mental health help. Period.